Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here with a new Beyblade mod, but first, represent. Can we reach 200 likes for this video? I think we can make it happen, boys. But I've got the brand new King Helios MR and Super Hyperion MR. And while these Beyblades have really cool gimmicks, I think there is a mod that needs to be done. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Whoosh. All right, guys, I'm here with the new Super Hyperion MR and King Helios MR. And these Beyblades have a really cool gimmick of splitting halves and mixing and matching. Super nice. The discs are kind of meh. But most importantly, these are completely new drivers, that being Explosion on Hyperion and Zeal on Helios. And TT really did us dirty by not giving us dash versions of either of these drivers which is just a huge disappointment. Come on guys, it's 2022 and we're in DB. Everything should be a dash or at least metal driver at this point. So on the plus side, the springs on these are somewhat tight to begin with. And you guys can clearly hear the clicks aren't that weak. But what if I told you we can upgrade these or rather give both of these Beyblades a rubber burst stopper with the help of O-rings. So like always, these are the standard O-rings that I use and I will link them down below. I got them from Amazon. They're super useful, especially for a bunch of Bailey mods. I can't get enough of these, but just like one of my last videos I made a few months back, I did a very similar mod for Ultimate Valkyrie, which you can check out right here, but it's gonna be the same concept. We are going to add rubber burst stoppers to both of these Beyblades to hopefully make it so that they won't burst as much. So I've got two O-rings set aside and these are just your standard rubber O-rings. There's nothing incredibly special about them. They are extra grippy and super squishy. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna add some extra friction between the driver and the teeth. It's as simple as just setting them within the teeth. So we'll start with Helios here. Um, as you guys can see, the teeth are right there. And there's always this gap here where the teeth meet the layer or chip rather. Um, and that's exactly where we're gonna set the O-ring. So, got the O-ring here. Installation is a breeze. Just kinda set it in there. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. And it is right there. Simple as that. Let's go and do that with Hyperion as well. Boom, literally takes seconds. And now we can put them together. And right off the bat, there is a lot more friction. This is probably equivalent to a dash driver, if not stronger at this point. So that is for Hyperion and now for Helios. Boom, super tough clicks. I do have an extra copy of both. So I will go ahead and show you guys just a side-by-side -side comparison. So as you guys can see and hear, the clicks are a lot more gummy. And again, that's just the extra added friction from the O-rings. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get these in test battles. All right, guys, this is my second time recording this now. I tried the B09, the standard stadium, and I just realized DB bays are way too big for that stadium. So we're gonna stick with our standard DB. I know the battles not might not be as exciting, but we'll make them exciting. So we'll start off with the, of course, Super Hyperion and King Helios, both of the, of the modded Beyblades. And oh my gosh, I can't talk today, but We'll go ahead and do that first. I want to see how they'll do against each other. All right, here we go. Yes, it didn't fly out of the stadium. Oh my gosh, this took so many tries. I'm not even joking, guys. You won't see those mislaunches, but oh boy, was that painful. All right, we got some hits. Um, Hyperion has like no stamina, which is awesome. Um, Helios, on the other hand, will probably take it 
And just like that, it does. And no clicks on either of these. Yes, look at that, instant burst. That was a cool entrance for Hyperion. And of course, Longinus going for that knockout. No clicks on Helios. Oh, okay, that was a close call for Helios. Yo, the Stadium Diverters doing what they do best. Those are some intense hits. Wait, what is going on? <laughs> All right. Uh, one, maybe half a click on Helios. All right. Finally, it is staying in the stadium. You know, this driver explosion does more damage than good for Hyperion. It also doesn't, whoa, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, we got Savior doing its wacky shot driver. Helios is just chilling, taking the center, that rubber kind of ball tip. Uh, it really works wonders for most attacks. Uh, now, we obviously don't really have the stamina there, so this might be anyone's match. But sure enough, I think Helios just won that. I swear I have to resort to weak launching Hyperion because this thing will not stay in the stadium. It's kind of nuts. I wish it stayed. Maybe I can get some nice battles, but either way, Phoenix wins. Okay. Hooray! It's still here in the stadium. I'm so happy Hyperion did not just self-KO for the 100th time. Either way, Phoenix wins again. I'm just gonna say it, guys. I'm sorry. I, I think I like Helios out of the two just because it won't freaking fly out of the stadium. <laughs> and it hits probably twice as hard or just the same. Um, just look at that, it just defeated Bahamut. How many clicks, if any? No clicks. Okay. It worked. I have to like somehow maneuver the launcher so that it doesn't just fly out. Man, I do not like Hyperion now. <laughs> it might be my least favorite DB day. It's still one, somehow. No clicks. All right, now we're talking. We got Helios and Achilles. Quattro Dash kicking in. Just look at those hits. I think Achilles might be a little too tall, if that makes sense. Because it's barely making contact with Helios. Hooray! A weak launch always just works best here but that bearing drift didn't do too well all right we got a knockout yes any clicks i gotta check every round but no clicks all 
All right, Gatling. Such a cool name, I love Gatling. I think that's even the name of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Random thought there, but all right. Gatling just isn't that aggressive. So it's just gonna go down. Okay. <laughs> it didn't knock out. I, I have to keep saying this because it's so freaking hard to launch, man. Ragnarok's got this in the bag. No doubt. Just like that. Red Savior going out of the stadium. Very nice. No clicks on Helios. All right. <laughs> no contact with Raphael. Wow, Hyperion has to be the best Beyblade ever just to do no contact in the center. <laughs> that was sarcasm, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, Raphael just doing its thing, it is going to win. All right, look at those hits. Neither Beyblade is giving up. My 3D printed diverters doing their thing. Wow, it actually knocked off Helios but it still wins. All right, let's see if there's anything we can do about Fafnir. Oh, okay. Not bad. Just really explosive hits, but Hyperion is out of juice. This is not gonna end well for Hyperion. Please don't just fly out. Okay, Spriggan, I see you. Knockout. No clicks. Oh. All right. Not bad. You know, I just now realized it might have to do with the kind of unbalanced design of these Beyblades. You know, Hyperion and Helios have this metal bit on one side, so there's that. Whoa, look at that buildup by Belial. But just like that, Helios is deflecting those attacks one by one. Even with the H gear, it wins. You know, I like this hamburger belly more than the others because for one, it doesn't just, you know, self PO. Whoa, that was a good hit. Um, two, it's just a lot more controllable. And Helios wins with no clicks. Oh, kind of digging this match. You know, Universe, when it's worn, it, it kind of acts like an attack type. Um, and it's just interesting seeing it on prominence. Phoenix, but I think Prominence has the upper hand, maybe not. No clicks on Hyperion. So we're doing this match for the lulls, except that it just bursts on its own.
Look at Dynamite go. Man, even Dynamite looks tiny now compared to the new releases. It's kind of cute. Um, of course, this is a boneless Belial. There are, there are no gears on this whatsoever. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see it perform. I kind of forgot that it's so thin, the Dynamite Blade. And I think Helios won with zero clicks. That was a clean knockout. Wow, that was a direct hit by Ultimate Valkyrie. The question is, there is not a single click off of that match. Look at Helios deflect and parry all of those attacks from Ultimate Valkyrie. This thing probably would have bursted by now, um, but it's thanks to this mod that it is just hanging in there. Of course, now is the moment of truth. What will happen? And that looks like a tie. All right, I, I kind of like this match, if I'm being honest. Whoa, that was a hard hit. Oh my gosh, that was explosive. Like It may not look like it on camera, but something had to have clicked and I'm sure Helios would have burst by now. So let's just go ahead and take a look. No clicks from Helios, two clicks on Ultimate. Yeah, this thing was getting close to bursting. All right, you guys, you just saw the battles and honestly, these things did their magic. They worked awesome in battles. I didn't see a single burst. Let me know what you guys think of this Beyblade mod. That's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.